For a hummingbird theme, with the purple marker, draw a beak. Then put down all markers for the head, and then swish a wing. Do short drags for the feathers, then you can do wavy ones. Draw the mouth, the chest, and the belly. Draw in tail feathers. You can do a second layer with short drags. Stamp in legs and feet. You can use three markers to stamp in feathers for a chest. And then use a dark marker like the purple to, to create the eye. With purple and blue, you can make a border. You can make it really simple with a wavy line, or you can make it fancier. And then fill in the white space with different embellishments. Here is a shell done with three markers. Just do short semicircles, and then fill in the gaps, flipping the markers over. And there you have, it can be a, a flower or a shell. There is some green on that yellow marker. Just make simple leaf strokes to create a flower. Stamp in some stamens. Separate the yellow with the green on it and make a stem. And then with some different type of leaf shapes, create the leaves on the stem. Adding the green back on. Fill in some ground and stamp in some grass. With the green and the yellow still connected, make a, a grasshopper. Keep the markers connected by squeezing them together so the, the color continues to blend. Draw an antennae and feet and legs. With the dark marker again, draw in the eye. With the red and yellow connected, using a new yellow this time, I'm drawing a ladybug. Just do a half circle. Use the dark purple and draw on the legs, the head, antennae, and the dots. Very simple. Adding on the yellow, here I'm drawing a butterfly. Stamping in the body and the antennae. With just the red and the purple, here I'm doing a dragonfly. Very simple, just doing little semicircles for the wings. And then with the green, the blue, and the purple connected, making the body. And then with just the purple, Stamping in antennae and some legs. And then reconnecting all the markers again. You can connect them in whatever order you want. You can create the rainbow. You have to make sure all the markers are even and aligned. And the colors blend better if you add a drop of water between the nibs or right to one of the nibs. The wetter the markers are, the better the color blends. So here you can see there's pastel blue for the cloud. So this also helps the, the nibs to be softer for a more brush-like effect, and it helps the ink to last longer.